So my final race of the day then will be the two mile five furlong listed Welsh Gold Cup. Leon will be popping in to do the two year old nursery to end day one, but this Welsh Gold Cup comes up first and Looney Tunes for Paul Rhodes is at the top. Daenerys Stormborn and Dyshana's sister for Graham Clutterbuck, Haraba Turk for David Robertson, Trouble C Leon Van Rensburg and Validation for Joshua Sutherland. And just six in this then, the rain's still coming down and Away we go with Trouble Scene on the rail, just about the quickest out. Let's see who's going to take them along. Uh, settling themselves down, it looks like Validation in the black and red hoops is interested in a, at least a share of the lead. Looney Tunes is in second, and Validation in third. In Haribur Turk, and the two grown clutterbot horses are at the back. And Daenerys Stormborn and Dear Shana Sister, a division that Graham Clutterbot likes to. Excelling. He's been a bit disappointed with Dear Shara's sister this season, but Denaris Stormborn been doing so badly. But Validation is clearing the lead then net by about three lengths to Looney Tunes in second. And then Trouble Seen on the outside of that one is in third. Haraba Turk the Grey. And then Daenerys Stormborn and Dear Shara's sister. So uh, almost well, an international field for this really, if you like, because we've got the Welsh Gold Cup. We've got two for. Graham Clutterbuck trying to keep the Gold Cup in Wales. Denoris Stormborn and Dyer Shana's sister. Then we've got the Leon Van Rensburg, the South African Welshman, who's in second. He's relocated to Wales and thinks of himself as partly Welsh, I think. So he's going to try and keep at least a part of the Gold Cup in Wales. And then we've got Paul Rhodes and David Robertson for Scotland. Joshua Sutherland is going to try and steal it for England in the lead. So validation is clear by about six lengths to Trouble Seen in second, and Looney Tunes is third, Haraba Turk is fourth, and then Daenerys Stormborn and Dyer Shana's sister at the back. So they're racing up the Foss last straight now, then, and it'll be shortly going past the winning post and then going off for a complete circuit. It's one of the newer race courses in Britain. I think Chelmsford was probably after this one, was it? And uh, a flat course at Worcester, but it's validation. He was in the lead, Trouble Seen is second, then Looney Tunes and Haraba Turk, Dear Shana Sister, and Daenerys Stormborn. So the order not changing a lot so far in this one. Validation continues to lead from Derby winning trainer Leon Van Rensburg in second, with Trouble Seen, then Haraba Turk and Looney Tunes, and then at the back, Dear Shana Sister and finally Daenerys Stormborn so they're virtually an Indian file now with Validation clearing the lead Trouble Seen is second, Haraba Turk is third, Looney Tunes is fourth and Dyer sister and Daenerys Stormborn is after that coming down towards the final mile then it's been an action packed day today we've seen some quality racing across the card at both Epsom and Newcastle and it's a pretty good race, well, it was a pretty good opening race at, here at Foss Lass as well and we've still got one more to come but Validation is clear in the lead, Royal Ascot next week of course so get yourself plotting and work out where you're going to go, check the conditions of some of the races as well next week at Royal Ascot because they're not 100% identical to what they are in real life for instance the jerseys are 7 foot open aged handicap so we can get some more chances in for some of the lower trainers so don't just automatically think you're out of it next week we've got a long way to go for that and then we're going to go take a week off I'm informed and allow people to have a rest and then we'll come back the week after so it's validation in the lead from Haribo Turk we'll talk more about next week and the week after later on in the week at the moment it's validation who's clearing the lead from Haribo Turk in second Looney chooses in third then a gap back to Trouble Seen is under a bit of pressure in fourth and the Graham Clutterbuck pair is still sitting out the back and neither of them passed the horse yet well it looks like they're gonna 
have an attempt at going past Trouble C shortly, but Validation past the three furlong pole is kicking on again from the front. Looney Tunes looks to be going well in second. Now Trouble C starting to run on again as Horrible Turkey is the one that drops away. Daenerys Stormborn coming round the outside. Die Shana's sister not got going again at all. And now Looney Tunes hits the front and suddenly puts two, three, four lengths in front uh, of everybody else. So uh, Looney Tunes has tried to steal this one then as they race down towards the furlong pole. And Looney Tunes looks like he has stolen it because he's now seven or eight lengths clear and going further clear. This is mightily impressive. He's hard held and he's ten lengths clear of a field full of horses who are trained by the top trainers. So racing up towards the line, then Looney Tunes has taken it really easily from Haribo Turkey running again to be second, then Trouble Seen, Daenerys Stormborn, Validation drop right out of it. Daishana system continues to disappoint for Graham Clutter, but, but what about that Looney Tunes? That's surely got to be in the mix for the Ascot Gold Cup next week now with a win like that. And absolutely hacked up. We see many horses in the league winning by that far. So Looney Tunes for Paul Rhodes. It was the highest race he did in the race, but it didn't necessarily need to win it by ten and a half lengths. So Looney Tunes will definitely be going in my notebook for the Ascot Gold Cup next week. Haribo Turk for David Robertson was second. Trouble C Leon Van Rensburg third. The nearest Stormborn for Graham Clutterbuck was fourth. And Validation for Leon Van Rensburg was fifth. I'll pass you over to Leon to do the final race of the day. And we'll be back for some more action tomorrow.